Business Today is brought to you by... Life happens in a second. And we've seen 5.5 billion of them. 175 years of life's moments all added up. With every tick of the hand, Sajikor will be there to turn those seconds into decades of prosperity. Sajikor, 175 years of wise financial thinking for life. This is Business Today, I'm Marlon Madden. Following a major $2 million upgrade, Infinity on the Beach Hotel has reopened its doors and is expecting to perform even better than it did in past years. The St. Lawrence Gap Christchurch property, which first opened on February 15, 2014, currently has 66 rooms and employs 50 full-time staff. General Manager of the property, Renee Coppin, tells Business Today the outlook is positive. We are right now pacing above what we were doing last year, and we finished in our winter months in night, above 90 in every month of the winter period last year. So I think the outlook is good for us in terms of our projected occupancies. Uh, of course, having spent the money doing renovation, we're looking obviously to recoup our investments. So we're looking at not just having a strong winter, but continuing that into summer. In our first full year of operation, as I mentioned, we did an average of 75% occupancy throughout that year. And we're looking to build and grow that. So it is for us about ensuring that we're delivering consistent product, consistent quality, consistent service, and so that our guests continue to support us and patronize us. A passionate Coppin says she is satisfied that the country has a range of hotel offerings to cater to all types of travelers. She says the island has a strong hotel product and Infinity on the Beach was a hit for locals who take advantage of the staycation program. It's just a growing market. At my other property, we grew our market over through advertising and through actually active promotion by about 70% in one year alone. And I think Barbadians are becoming more aware of the staycation options and trying to as I said, use and enjoy what people pay so much money to come here and use and enjoy. So we have had a very strong staycation clientele here. We use a lot of day passes. We have a lot of purchase persons who come and purchase our day pass option and come and spend the day with us, have meals with us, use the beach and facilities, you know, just to get away. So we definitely encourage locals to come out and enjoy and Infinity on the Beach is owned by locals and we encourage locals to come and use this pro product. Business Today will be right back. What's your idea of holiday happiness? Watching the kids open presents. Preparing for a new arrival. The look on his face. Add to your holiday happiness with a Scotia Plan loan from Scotiabank. You could win cash and more. Get your loan today at your nearest branch. Conditions apply. Keep up with technology or face extinction. This sobering caution has come from Cisco's systems engineer, Sashi Mohammed, who says if businesses are not keeping up with the new technologies to grow their operations and better engage customers, they faced the likelihood of being left behind. He says international research shows that it is possible for a business to become at least 26% more profitable and improve its interaction with customers if it uses modern technology in its operations. Sashim was addressing the recent Digicel Business Solutions Summit 2016 at the Sandy Lane Hotel. You've seen that if 40% of the existing enterprises, if they don't become digitized soon in the next five years, they're going to become irrelevant. And that's frightening. We remember what happened to Kodak, right? Remember Kodak, these guys who made extremely good cameras, be, be it all based on people. They're non existent now, right? Example, Uber. We know about Uber, right? Who would have thought that a taxi driver would have become irrelevant? It's happening all because of digitization, the ability for a customer to interact with a business through IT, through communication. The Caribbean Development Bank, CDB, has approved a U.S. $10 million policy-based loan to further build growth and resilience in the Grenadian economy. It is the final of three such loans from the CDB to the government of Grenada designed to support the country's 36-month homegrown structural adjustment program. Director of Economics at the CDB, Dr. Justin Ram, commended the government on its efforts to implement a comprehensive reform program to restore fiscal and debt sustainability, build resilience, and improve competitiveness. He says the financial institution was pleased to continue to support Grenada in accelerating its progress on poverty reduction through sustainable economic growth and job creation. 
Grenada's policy and institutional reforms focus on improving investment climate and competitiveness, improving public resource management and enhancing resilience against natural disasters, and key elements to resilience in the banking sector. Now for today's financial tip. Remember, children are not retail snobs. Young children don't value your gift based on price. So there is no need to shell out big bucks unnecessarily to buy their gifts this season. That's been the business today. Join us again on Tuesday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Maddie.